In this video we're going to learn about step time entry. So, so far we've got the opening chords of the symphony and we've also got the cello solo. Let's have a listen. I can go back to the start of my score at any time by pressing this button and the shortcut is command or control on a PC and the left square bracket. You can start and stop play by pressing the play button or simply pressing the space bar. and so on and so forth. You can also stop play or record by pressing the escape key and of course we know escape is our best friend. Alright, so let's learn a little bit about set time entry. Well the first thing we need to do is learn some more about the keypad. It's been sitting down here at the bottom right hand corner and so far we've clicked on note lengths if we've wanted to put particular note lengths on and then we've clicked the pitches in with our mouse. Well, the first thing to know is that the keypad is basically a big shortcut palette. So if you look at the right-hand side of a full-size computer keyboard, you'll see that there's a numerical keypad, a little bit like a phone dialing pad, on the right-hand side, and that it happens to be exactly the same shape as the keypad in Sibelius. What that means is that if I press number 4 on the keypad of my computer keyboard, it's the same as selecting a crotchet in uh, Sibelius by clicking on it. If I click into this bar, which is where I want to start putting the first violin part from, you can see that it starts off with a quaver rest. So I can see on the keypad that a quaver is in the same position as the number 3 on the keypad, and I can press the number 3, and immediately I get a quaver rest at the start. If I then press the 0 on the keypad, I get the rest. Now I can start putting notes in. If I've got a MIDI keyboard, it's as simple as choosing number 4 to choose a crotchet and then playing the pitch on the MIDI keyboard. Now if I put it in the wrong octave, I can press Command or Control on a PC and up arrow, and Command and up and down arrow moves notes by one octave at a time. Now I can carry on chain playing the pitches, and as long as the uh, rhythm doesn't change, I don't need to press anything else, I can just keep playing pitches. It's not the same as playing in real time, so there's no pressure on me to actually play in time, I'm just playing those G's on the keyboard. And you can see that in this case it's gone into the next bar and it should have been um, a quaver tied over to a dotted minim. So let's just revise how to do that. Let's learn the name of our second best friend when we're using Sibelius. So escape is our best friend and undo is our definitely our second best friend. If I, if I click the undo button I can undo that mistake that I just made. And of course the shortcut for undo is Command and Z or Control Z if you're using a PC. So I want to change here, I want to put in a, a quaver G with a tie. And again, look at the keypad and look at the numerical keypad on your computer. You'll see if you press the number 3 that it's going to change to a quaver. And you can then play the G on your MIDI keyboard. And you can add a tie by pressing the Enter key on your numerical keypad which adds a tie onto the note. You add that after you've put the note in. And then a dotted minim is going to be number 5 which is in the middle of the numerical keypad and the dot at the bottom. Don't confuse the dot at the bottom of the keypad with the dot at the top of the keypad. The one at the top is for staccato, the one at the bottom is to create a dotted note. And now finally we can play the G and we're creating more and more of this part. Let's carry on very quickly and create the rest of the violin part that we can see. So I'm going to play the E. Whoops, that should have been an, e, uh, an A flat, sorry. So I'll just undo A. Good demonstration of undo there. Add the tie again. Uh, this one is a minim, so I'm going to type 5 on my keypad. Uh, then I need to change to crotchets. G, F, G, A flat. And finally, there's that run of quavers, so that's nice and easy. I can press number 3 on the keypad to change to quavers, and then just play those pitches in my own time. And the last note's a crotchet, so change this to crotchet, and play the last note. And that's it. That's how simple... Um, step time entry is. When you've finished, press escape to go out of that mode and you can move back over the notes and of course we already know how to add phrasing. 
So just click where you want the phrase to start, S for slur, and spacebar to space it out. Next up, alphabetic entry. 